You know, are you still able to summon things? Can you summon me a fish? A real big one, I want to eat it! Well, hello there, fellow mammals. The name's Theodore. Theodore Tusk. And welcome back to another unboxing with Loot Crate. Today I'm unboxing the Final Fantasy X-2 six-scale soft vinyl statue of Yuna. And before something else summons your attention, make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm gonna tell you how you can win a free three-month subscription to Loot Crate. Maybe I'll even tell you how you can summon a three-month subscription to Loot Crate. You can't. Sorry. You'll need a blood sacrifice for equivalent exchange. First and last in the box, we have Yuna here standing in close to 12 inches tall. She has zero articulation and comes with no interchangeable parts. So what you see here is what you get. It probably sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. I actually prefer statues over posable figures since there aren't any unnatural ball joint thingies. Back to Yuna, this is the attire she wears two years later after finishing her journey as a summoner. The only two things she retains are her beaded earring and the silver pendant necklace around her neck. Because that's where a necklace goes. Where else would it be if it weren't around the neck? I shouldn't even have to say that. It's redundant. Yuna's new look features shorter hair with a red braid stretching down to her ankles. Knee-high black boots with white laces. Denim shorts with a brown belt also connecting a brown fringed pouch. A blue and white sash on her hip which also falls down to her ankle. A white top featuring the insignia of the Xanarkin Abes. And at the bottom is a pink lace trim and a pink hood in the back. For those rainy days when you need to have a hood so you can just put it up and protect yourself from the rain. Though I love rain. I love rain to wrinkle down me wrinkles. Oh, it feels so good. I don't even, that's why I don't have to take showers. But then you're probably asking, but Theodore, then where do you, where, what about soap? Now, funny you should ask about soap. I, I don't use any. Except for my mustache. I use all sorts of oils and argons and that. And seal fat. That really brings out the shine. You can see it sparkling in the the sun, right? She also has a black band on her left wrist, yellow armbands on the upper parts of both arms, and for the best part, she's dual wielding two weapons which go with her new role as a gunner. That's what she is in Final Fantasy X-2. She's no longer a summoner, she's a gunner. I'm gonna gun for her. Yep. Go, Yuna! Next, let's point out the black base Yuna comes with. Yep, that's a fine base. Not an eyesore for anyone. Perfection at its best. Okay, that's all the gazing time you get. There's only so much to go around and the rest is mine. Now, one last little thing, mammals. Just a fair warning that if you decide to pick up one of these statues for yourself, there's a pretty terrible bootleg version out there. It's all over eBay and probably other places, but the bootleg version just isn't that appealing. No, it's the face. The face is just something wrong with the face. You think the face looks funny, then that's the bit, that's the wrong one. You wasted your money. Go return the item. If you can't return it, then throw it away and hope that 520 <coughs> bucks fall down into your lap. Those were the biggest giveaways for me, so just make sure you do your research. Your research. Well, thanks for watching, fellow mammals. For a chance at winning this week's free three-month subscription to Loot Crate, which is your favorite Final Fantasy game? Mine is definitely Final Fantasy X because it's the first one I ever played and I just found the story so compelling. Not only that, but Sin is basically a giant fish. I'd be fed for life if I could catch something like that. Now, sure, how am I gonna store him? But hey, that's a problem for another day. Theodore must consume Sin. Summon him, Yuna, I know you can do it. Let me consume that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>